Hello and welcome to our presentation of the ABRA Attendance Module. The ABRA Suite Attendance Module is a module that integrates directly with the human resource and the payroll system. You can be using either module standalone or in combination. There's some specific points of integration that we'll talk about in just a little bit, but the first thing I want to look at are the different setup capabilities as far as your individual attendance plans. If we go out here under Rules and Attendance Plan Setups, and I'll go out here and select a particular plan to look at some of the detail, one of the first things that you can see is that as far as the individual attendance plans go, we can set up as many attendance plans out here in the system as we want. So if we have specific plans that are configured for executives versus hourly employees, you can go ahead and set that up in the application and have all the information tie out to a specific vacation plan calculator. Another thing that you're going to be able to do is take these individual plans and tie these individual plans out to specific earning code types. So if you're paying people through the ABBA payroll system for vacation sick and personal time, you'll be able to go ahead and integrate these plans directly with those particular methods of payment. If we go out here and look at some detail, you'll be able to see some of the different setup options. First of all, you can designate a specific plan type. You can go out here and create a plan year. Your plan year can reflect three different options. It can be based on an annual calculation, a fiscal calculation, or an anniversary calculation. You can calculate these plans based on lump sum or by some sort of an accrual method. If you decide to break your information down by lump sum, you also have a period that you can designate for that lump sum to accrual. You also select accrual method you can designate the specific accrual methods based on an increment that ties out to the payroll system. There's some other information that you can also store based on these individual plans, keeping track of information based on perfect attendance. You, again, can also base your accrual on time worked, again, based on the information that sits out there in your app or payroll system. You have the capability of creating maximum available hours, you also have the capability of creating carryover hours and carryover caps and balances if you have things like sick plans that allow you to carry over hours from year to year. If we look at this category as far as the maximum allowed, as far as the accrual goes, the thing to keep in mind is that there are specific states that have rules based on benefits that are accrued by individual employees. Basically, these rules stipulate that if you accrue a certain amount of time at your point of termination, that's a benefit that you're receiving, and that needs to be paid out to you. So in order to guard against excessive time being accrued on a particular benefit plan, you're able to set up individual caps that tie out to your individual vacation sick and personal time plan setups. Another thing you're also able to do to help you with your data maintenance is set up seniority levels. These particular seniority levels allow you to set up individual plans based on your seniority in the organization. So if you've been with the company for one to three years and you get a week of vacation, you can set that up here based on the months and the hours earned. If after your three-year anniversary and you move from four to six years and you get two weeks of vacation, you can set up that particular plan out here in the system as well. The big advantage that this carries to you as far as your data entry goes is that when you set up an employee, you set them up on the plan once, and then based on their seniority, you don't have to worry if it's somebody's anniversary with the company as far as changing their attendance plans. The system will automatically increment and roll itself into the next plan and automatically make this particular employee eligible for the next level of their hour eligibility based on their months of service. There's absence reason codes that are available out here. Again, these particular absence reason codes will tie out to the individual payroll settings, and there's also a point system that's available. So if you want to keep track of different points based on different attendance occurrences, you can also do that in the system as well. This is very popular if you're keeping track of things like tardies and absences, unexcused absences where there's some sort of disciplinary policy that's in place. Once we have these individual plans set up in the system, we can then go out and look at some specific employee records, and we can go out and look at some detail. We go out here and select a employee to see a summary of the individual plans. If we go out and look at this particular executive plan and look at the detail that goes along with it, you can see the actual plans that the employee participates in. 
how many hours they had from the previous year's carryover, what their current eligibility is. You can change the, change the person's plan. You can also accrue through a particular date. So let's say an employee comes to you and says that they want to take off some time for Christmas at the end of the year, and that's still a good six, seven, eight months away. If that's the case, you can go ahead and accrue this person's plan through that particular date and let them know exactly how much time off they would actually have accrued or available. You can also see the individual accrual breakdowns based on the plan that the individual employee participates in. If we go back out here to our activity center, you can see that there's also a category that lets us view leave of absence information. In this particular example, we want to go out and add a certain type of leave of absence, family medical leave, or whatever the case may be. This is a great area to go out and store that type of information. There's also specifics that tie out to a family medical leave event if you do set up a leave that's related to family medical leave. It stores dates, dates of return, dates that are required for medical recertification, and other information related to the particular event. Another thing that we can also look at as far as the individual employee records go is individual absence and leave transactions. You can see in Don's example here that there's specific information regarding the time off taken. We can go out and see some specific detail. There's also a nice area down here if you want to post some specific comments. Let's say, for example, you have a certain leave that was not approved or you didn't receive any sort of uh, doctor's excuse as far as the absence goes. You can make some specific notes here as far as the event. This information, again, integrates directly with your ABBA payroll system. So as you're processing payrolls on your individual employees, you'll be able to see out here these individual transactions post. I go back out to the activity center. The next thing I wanted to look at were some of the specific attendance reports. You have some nice reports available that allow you to run reports reflecting information on all of your employee absence averages absence logs. You can also do some analysis on your individual absences based on percentages by department, percentages for reason, for time off. There's also reports that let you review absence points. So if you do set up certain caps with your individual points, notify me when somebody receives five points or more. You can set up reports that reflect that information. You also have several family medical leave reports that you can run and review information regarding family medical leave employees. Again, this particular module integrates directly with human resources or the human resource system and payroll in combination, or it can also work standalone with just payroll itself. The plans allow you to set up different accrual methods, whether it's lump sum or based on an incremental accrual that may occur after every single payroll run. The plans themselves can be kept based on a calendar year, a fiscal year, or an anniversary with the company. And multiple plans can be set up and applied to individual employees and still tied out to various earning records out in the payroll system. That concludes our presentation for the Average Suite Attendance Module. We appreciate your time.